what poya is significant due to many historical events that took place on this full moon poya day over 2500 years ago in the northern plains of india suddodana the sake king of kapilavastu pura discovered that his young son would grow up to be a great man one day just as the royal astrologers had predicted at his birth as the body scriptures state the event happened at the royal bakmagula or the plowing festival where the king was the first to furrow the land and make the soil ready to receive its first batch of paddy seeds while the king was engaging in plowing the land prince siddhartha who was 5 months old was found in a leafy glade seated cross legged in a lotus pose absorbed in deep meditation with his frame in a state of levitation moved by this extraordinary sight king suddhodana could not help but pay salutation to his son it was also on what full moon poya day that supreme buddha preached the abhidhamma the deepest aspect of his philosophy to his mother matru the viraja at tusita heaven it enabled her to attain sota panna the first of the four stages to attaining enlightenment the advent of buddhism took place in sri lanka with the arrival of arahant mahinda who was the son of the great indian emperor asoka the great king devanam pirtis who propagated buddhism in sri lanka questioned arahant mahinda whether buddhism would firmly be rooted in sri lanka Arahant Mahinda stated until such time the person born and bred in Sri Lanka enters the order after a complete and thorough study of vinaya the disciplinary code relating to monks then only will buddhism be firmly established throughout Sri Lanka According to chronicles this was fulfilled by the king Devanam Pirtis's minister Aritta who entered the order Therefore this gave a firm foot into establishment of Buddhism in Sri Lanka which also took place on Wap full moon poya day Wap full moon poya day paved the way for the arrival of great arahant nan sangamitta to the island King Devana Pirtis's sister-in-law Anula was very keen to enter the order of bhikkhus Therefore the king made a request to the great emperor Asoka to send his daughter Arahant Nan Sangamitta to the island. It was on Wap full moon poya day that King Devanam Pirtis sent minister Aritta to India for this mission. The appointment of Arahant Sariputta as the chief disciple of the Buddha also took place on Wap full moon poya day. Buddhist history reveals another important landmark which is connected to Wap full moon poya day that the future Buddha Maitreya Bodhisattva entered the order with a retinue of 500 followers. The Vas retreat which begins on Asala poya comes to an end on Wap full moon poya day and thereafter commences the Katina period. Katina season ushers in the Buddhist calendar with the month of Vap which is popularly known as Chivara Masa. This period lasts for the duration of a month until the next poya in November which is Il full moon poya day. Commencing from Vap poya Katina Chivara or new robes are offered by devotees of the temples to bhikkhus who observe the vas season and this is considered one of the most meritorious deeds in buddhism it is known as the great eight merits or atakusa in fact the word katina means unbreakable and refers to the merit gained by offering this katina chivara to one of the mahasangha 
It is taken in procession named Khatina Perahara along with other gifts from the laity to the temple where the donation ceremony takes place. These are the main facts. The Buddhists celebrate the Vap full moon Poya day with great reverence, festivals and processions throughout the world.